Okay, so what we're showing here is um, that it's very it's fairly straightforward to have a um, two or more working electrodes um, array system. So this is actually one of our um, standard products. So there's two of them together. And what I've what I've not done is I've not snapped them apart. So as you can see, it's one whole piece. And the way we often make these kind of electrodes is they're made in an um, in a wafer, and we laser scribe. So if I bring it close, you just about see that there's a laser scribe down the middle of these two things. Well, not these two things, but these two sensors. And we snap them apart, and then that's how we singulate. But of course, if you actually want to have um, a system, a, a, a whole piece like this, with potentially sort of two working electrodes, it's easy enough. We just don't singulate them quite in the same way. So if people come to us and say, oh, I want two working electrodes you know, in parallel or sorry, next to each other. It's quite simple. It's just, it's the way we singulate them. So um, the quick answer is uh, we make them in wafers. If you don't break them, um, they naturally come um, together as a pair, always in three, four, five, six, seven, eight, etc. And then you can either wire this up as um, having a common counter and a common reference or opposite counter, or oh, sorry, separate counters and a common reference how you wire it up is up to you and i've shown you that it's easy to get these type of connectors and you know you can just put it in there and make a connection with it so quick answer is um we don't have to explicitly have a um, two electrode system in our catalog in order to provide a two electrode system because we make them in wafers we laser scribe and then we singulate but if we singulate so we don't actually split two electrodes from one another, it immediately forms a pair. So I hope that is useful. Okay, so if you have any questions, um, please don't hesitate to contact um, Zimmer and Peacock. Okay, thanks very much.